So what? Um, I'm Diego. I'm an artist. Uh, I live in Sydney. I grew up in a farm. I grew up foraging. So when I moved to Australia about 20 years ago and I started again the whole process of foraging, finding wild food. That led me to work with chefs and various restaurateurs. And that's exactly what's happening tonight over here. We went out, we went to some secret location and we got a whole bunch of stuff for, for the dinner tonight. The local kids know this tree, for sure. That's dandelions there. That's another one, should we? Yeah. Rules of foraging. Rule one, the best place to forage is your own backyard. That means you forage where you know what's happening, when you know year after year, season after season, what's been growing, how often, how healthy is the colony, whether it is being sprayed or not. So you forage where you know. Scotch Fissel, the emblem of Scotland. Cheers, Marvensi. Yeah? Uh, Solanum, this is would be Solanum America. Solanum or Solanum nigrum. In fact, this is cultivated in India. You know, many of these weeds are cultivated commercially. Okay, so they call it the tomato of India, actually. So obviously, a man-made selection of these with bigger fruits and so forth gets uh, cultivated commercially. But you need to get the very black ones, like all Solanum. You can't drink, you can't eat anything green of the family. Mm. Nothing. Green tomatoes, green potatoes, they're all not good. It's like an artificial, artificial flavor. Yeah. yeah, it's got lots of depth as well. It starts with sweet and then it goes anise, and then mm. it just oh, develops yeah. into licorice even. Kind yeah, of. they're nice. They're really sweet. Mmm. Mm. Nice. Yum. Have you got three ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm almost done. <laughs> Snacks. <laughs> can, can you podium album? Can you podium album? I don't know, grown, grown commercially in India, in Gujarat and places like that. They use lot of curry. It's been food for humans from forever. The, the duck as well? No, we just have it. Oh, I'll try this one. Good. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 different things. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what excites me about foraging is the fact that you learn more and more, you get connected to the environment. You get to learn the places where you go. Foraging you do is something that you do when you know where you go. So you slowly build up a connection with the places. And that's very exciting, especially from a foreigner point of view. You get to connect to your place.
So that's it then. Oh, that is awesome. I only ever eat what I know. Actually, first rule of foraging, don't you just try whatever. You just eat what you know. You perfectly uh, and positively identify your plants and then you try it. You don't just go around experimenting. This is no survival. This is no zombie land, okay? You know, we're here for gastro entertainment. We're here to enjoy ourselves through the taste buds.